Hello students, welcome to Narayan PU College Online Classes. So in the last class we have completed, in the last video we have completed 16th group elements. Clear my last one is sulfuric acid is there. And that preparation is very important for the PU examination I have already discussed. Clear. And next one is we will discuss about the 17th group elements. Clear me? So as usual previous how we have discussed first of all you know elements and their symbol occurrence physical properties chemical properties same and next one reaction with the hydrogen reactivity towards hydrogen chlorine and oxygen and that will be same for all this 15th to 18th group elements clear me? so first of all 17th group elements put the heading here 17th group elements so what are the elements here in the 17th group clear me? you already know one is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. Clear ma? So that is last we will not discuss much about that element astatine. That is you know very means radioactive element and their compounds are very very unstable. So that's why we won't discuss much about the astatine. We will discuss up to the iodine. Clear? So here write the first one put here element and symbol and here element and here you put symbol element and symbol and here table like you draw clear ma? so first one element is fluorine element here is fluorine what is the symbol of fluorine you already know yeah and the next one is chlorine next one is chlorine and symbol is cl bromine 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 symbol is br clear ma iodine iodine symbol is here i and last one is astatine that symbol is at clear ma so radioactive element this is the last one and we will not discuss much about this astatine clear ma so this is about what here here elements which are present in the 17th group clear ma and their symbols clear ma so this is about elements and what it is ma their symbols clear and these elements we will call as a which group elements ma here 17th group elements these elements we will call as the, all these elements called as 17th group elements if you don't consider the d block elements you know d block 10 are there first ta second a and after then you know d block and uh, we will get the 13th 14th 15th like if you don't consider the d block elements 10 d block elements there if you leave then can also be called as a simply 7th group elements clear ma so what we will we can call these are 17th group element 7th group elements can also be called clear and these are very important here also called as halogens <coughs> also called as what it is ma here halogens you know nicogens and previous we have discussed clear ma so in the same way and here 17th group elements can be called as a what it is ma halogens and this halogen word it is derived from the greek one greek word so here halo what is the meaning of halo means halo means sea salt what is the halo mahia sea salt clear genis genis means producing or forming whatever it may be producing clear ma? so means if you see halogens means sea salt producing or we can say sea salt farmers so that's why we will call these are halogens clear ma? so halogens means what is totally meaning ma here now sea salt sea salt producers sea salt producer you know that salts which are present in the sea are mainly chlorides bromides and their iodides bromides and iodide sodium chloride sodium bromide you know sodium iodide and these all are salts the salts are formed by which elements maya chlorine bromine iodine and these are belongs to which one ma halogen 77th 7th group so that's why and these halogens are salt sea salt producers and that sea salt producer and the greek word is halogenes that that's why we will call this one is 
halogens clear ma so this is about the what it is mahia simple 17th group elements and now and we will discuss about the occurrence clear ma put the heading now occurrence clear so what is the occurrence where they are available and in which form they are available so we have to discuss one by one put here occurrence clear ma occurrence clear and you know first we will write fluorine bromine all one by one so first one element and occurrence and make it like a table element and here occurrence element and what it is mahia occurrence clear so the first element here is fluorine clear ma fluorine fluorine and how it is how it occurs and which form it occurs uh, means uh, occurred in the earth crust we have to discuss clear ma fluorine you know it occurs in form of fluorides in earth crust clear ma it occur it occurs in form of in form of which one mahia fluorides it occurs in form of what it is mahia fluorides so what are those fluorides clear ma mainly calcium fluoride you know so first one i will write here calcium fluoride ca f2 so here names are there very important and this we will called as fluorospar fluorospar clear ma fluorospar clear caf2 and another one is there cryolite na3 al f6 this we will called as what it is mahia cryolite this we will called as cryolite clear ma and also apatite family previous we have discussed you see fluorapatite what is that formula ca3 po4 taken two times and here caf2 what we will called ma it is fluorapatite fluoroapatite fluoroapatite clear so this is how fluorine is occurred in the earth crust means mainly and these are clear ma so it is occurred in the form of fluoride calcium fluoride you know sodium aluminum fluoride and here also calcium fluoride that we will called as a what is ma fluoroapatite clear ma so next one next one is chlorine next one is what it is ma chlorine so here chlorine also occurs in the form of which one ma here chlorides so it also it occurs it occurs in form of chlorides in form of what it is ma here chlorides clear so what is the main source of the chlorine is the main source of chlorine is you know what it is ma here sea water clear ma sea water and the salt wells and salt beds clear ma so these are the main cheap sources of what it is ma here chlorine clear and how they are available clear ma they are available in the form of what it is ma chloride na cl what we will call this is this we will called as a rock salt what we will call ma this is rock salt clear and also kcl mgcl2 this we have already studied in the first year 6h2o what we will call ma this is this is carnalite what it is ma here carnalite clear ma and these are and calcium fluoride calcium chloride also simply you can write cacl2 what we will call this is calcium chloride clear ma so this is about the occurrence of which one ma fluorine and chlorine and next we will go for the bromine clear ma so bromine put the heading next one is bromine clear yeah? so bromine also occurs in the earth crust in, in the earth crust in form of bromides in form of what it is ma here bromides clear yeah? so next one is bromine clear ma so bromine it also occurs it also occurs in earth crust in form of in form of which one ma here bromides in form of which one ma here bromides in form of bromides what is the source for this one clear ma source source for this is you know first one sea water you know in the sea water bromide is present in the form of sodium bromide potassium bromide like clear ma and also you know here salt 
lakes, salt lakes. These are the main sources for which one ma here bromide. So how it will be available in the form of which one ma bromide? You know sodium bromide. It is what it is ma sodium bromide and you know uh, potassium bromide, calcium bromide etc. Clear? So this is about which one ma bromine. And last one here is iodine. Clear ma? So iodine you know it is the main so it is also occurs in the form of which one ma? iodides only it occurs it occurs in form of iodides in form of what it is ma? here iodides clear what is the main source for this iodide is you know here sea weeds what it is ma? here sea weeds clear and how they are available means it is in the form of sodium iodate and also here sodium per iodate this is what it is ma here sodium iodate clear ma and here what it is ma sodium per iodate sodium per iodate clear ma so this is about the what it is ma here occurrence and you know last one is astatine astatine is a you know radioactive element and here it is very unstable so that's why we will not discuss about that occurrence so this is about the what it is my occurrence of 17th group elements clear ma? next one put the heading next one is electronic configuration clear ma? so same previous also 15th group we have discussed the first you know about the elements and after then occurrence and then you know what it is my here electronic configuration put the heading here electronic configuration electronic configuration electronic configuration clear ma? so what is general electronic configuration of you know 17th group elements or we can say halogens clear ma? so what are what is the general electronic configuration 16th group we have discussed ns2 np4 and this is 17th group means one extra will should add here so that's why ns2 np5 clear ma? so this is general electronic configuration general electronic configuration of halogens halogens is what is the general electronic configuration ma ns2 np5 clear ma so we will write here what is the element clear ma symbol and electronic configuration make like a table clear ma so previous also we have discussed first one what it is ma element element and the next one is symbol because if I write more time that will be uh, for you people it will be remembered for a long time in your mind. Clear ma? So element, symbol and here electronic configuration. Clear ma? So make a like on table here. Clear ma? So if you draw here one table then it will be easy. Clear ma? So now this is clear ma? so right here first element what is the first element ma here fluorine clear the first element here is fluorine so what is the symbol ma here f what is the atomic number of fluorine fluorine atomic number how much ma nine uh, one table you write here atomic number also clear another one table you increase clear ma atomic number right here atomic number clear ma so atomic number and after then write the electronic configuration electronic configuration clear ma? so this is the table so now first one is fluorine fluorine atomic number how much ma? nine nine is the atomic number so what is the electronic configuration actually we have to write 1s2 2s2 and 2p5 1s2 means what i can write my helium write that one that is helium 2s2 2p5 ns2 np5 means first one what it is ma fluorine 2s2 2p5 clear ma fluorine after then what it is ma chlorine chlorine clear ma so chlorine means what is the symbol here cl and here chlorine what is the electronic what is the atomic number here 17 i already mentioned 
8 add 8 18 18 32 then automatically you will get the atomic numbers clear ma so 9 plus 8 17 17 means what it is ma here neon we will get next one is what it is ma neon this is helium 2 neon what it is ma 10 next what you will get 3s2 3p5 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 5 17 that is clear ma next one fluorine chlorine and next one is bromine clear ma so bromine what is the symbol of bromine here br next what you have to do add 18 18 plus 17 plus 18 so how much you will get ma 35 this is the atomic number of which one ma bromine so helium neon argon you know here what you will get ma argon argon is how much ma here 18 so what you will get here 4s2 next one is 4p5 so here 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 5 25 but here 35 so that's why which one it will come dr dot 3d 10 clear ma? in the same way bromine and next one is iodine clear ma? so iodine means what is the symbol here i i means what you have to do ma here add 18 18 if you add you will get the what it is ma here 53 53 then right here this is a uh, helium neon argon and next what you will get ma krypton right here krypton Krypton is how much more here? 36. So then 5, 4s2, it's over. Then what you will get, man? 5s2, 5p5. Clear, man? 5s2, 5p5. Then it is, you see, 32 plus 8. The 36 plus 2, 38. 38 plus 5, 43. But here, what is my 53. So that's why 4d10. Clear, man? And last one is astatine. This is, you know, what is the symbol ma here? A, T, clear? So, that's what you have to add here. 32. 32, if you add, what you will get ma? 85. 85 means what it is ma? Xenon. Xenon is how much ma here? 54. So, next what you have to write here? 6S2, 6P5. So, 54. Clear ma? 54 plus 2. 58. 58 plus 56 56 plus 5 61 61 means here 85 should come how many electrons left here 24 24 electrons means first you have to add that 10 electrons in the dr doll and the next 5 uh, 14 electrons in the fr doll means what you will get ma 5d 10 and 4f 14 clear ma so this is about what it is ma here electronic configuration of 17th group elements so next one is here physical properties clear ma so first physical property here is atomic and ionic radii what it is ma here atomic put the heading atomic and ionic radii clear you know that atomic and ionic radii what will happen if you are moving from the left to right across the you know period and atomic number decreases because of nuclear charge increases and down the group clear automatical atomic number increases clear ma <coughs> put here atomic and atomic and ionic radii atomic and ionic radii clear ma clear so what happen here you see atomic radii if you take atomic radius and uh, compare the atomic radii with the 16th group element and 16th group elements will have large atomic radii compared to the 17th group elements means across the period decreases this is what is order here atomic radii order for the 16th group element and 17th group element why you know atomic radii decreases if you take here decreases across the period what is the reason here because nuclear charge increases so that's why 16th group elements have large atomic radii compared to the 17th group elements clear ma? now what happens to the if you move down the group from the fluorine to astatine clear ma? so what happened here automatically atomic radii increases why atomic radii increases number of shells increases so here what is the reason here because reason is increase nuclear charge increase in nuclear charge increase in nuclear charge clear ma? so now if you are moving down the group ma means you know already what is this one clear ma? so fluorine and if you take this is chlorine bromine 
and what it is my iodine and last one is acid. this is atomic radii and if you take here halide ions clear my halide ions have greater atomic radii than the halogen clear ma? if i take suppose here cl minus is having greater atomic radii compared to the cl chloride ion having means it, it, it will have the large atomic uh, radii a uh, greater atomic radii compared to the chlorine why because you know chloride means what is my negative charge negative charge means it is gaining one electron gaining one electrons means number of electrons increases automatically what it is man uh, compared to electrons nuclear charge decreases so automatically electron cloud will spread so uh, so that's why here what will happen my atomic radii of chloride ion is greater than chlorine clear my here so this is about atomic and ionic radii and the next one is ionization energy clear my so next one is ionization enthalpy or energy enthalpy ionization enthalpy clear my so what is the ionization enthalpy clear my so very important here halogen ha halogens have you know very high ionization enthalpy values clear my so what it is here halogens have halogens have clear my very high very high ionization enthalpy next only to next only to what it is my here noble gases noble gases next only to what it is my here noble gases because you already know that the means according to this what it is my you know high ionization enthalpy means what to remove the electron you have to put lot of energy means they are less tendency to lose the electrons clear ma? so but if you are moving down the group from the fluorine to iodine automatically ionization energy decreases why because of the size increases so that's why if you take here ionization enthalpy order if i write so what will happen ma here fluorine will have high ionization enthalpy than the chlorine bromine and what it is ma iodine as the size increases you know automatically ionization enthalpy values also decreases clear ma so next one here is very important electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy clear ma electron gain enthalpy so here halogens have you know large negative electron gain enthalpy values clear ma? electron gain enthalpy means what ma? ionization and electron gain enthalpy ionization means uh, to remove the electron how much energy is required and here electron gain enthalpy means when you add electron how much energy is released that we will call as a electron gain enthalpy means releasing energy means what it is ma? it is a negative so that's why halogens have clear ma halogens have very large large negative negative very large negative you know the electron gain enthalpies value electron gain enthalpy values clear ma so if you take why they they are very high they will show the electron gain enthalpy values if you see the common electronic configuration ns2 what it is ma ns2 np5 ns2 what it is ma np5 np5 means what it is ma five electrons are there this is ns2 np5 clear you see if they gain one electron they will get the more stable electronic configuration that is what it is ma noble gas electronic configuration clear ma so that's why they have very high tendency to gain the electron instead of losing electron so that's why and they won't lose the electron so that's why they have very high ionization energy so that is the reason clear ma so they need one electron to get the noble gas electronic configuration so that's why the molecule will get more stable so that's why they have a very high tendency you know 
to accept the electron and during that process you know they are getting stable stable means when they will get stable if they are less energy so that's why they release some energy so that energy we will call as a electron gain enthalpy clear ma? but you know that here electron gain enthalpy values decreases down the group what it is ma? electron gain enthalpy values clear ma? so they are in which one ma? negative why negative because energy is releasing that is clear electron gain enthalpy values decreases what it is ma? decreases down decreases down the group decreases down the group from what it is ma? from fluorine to you know iodine but very important here like previous what we have discussed for the you know uh, 16th group elements clear ma so actually the order should be fluorine should have high electron gain enthalpy values than the chlorine but here chlorine has clear ma chlorine has highest value of highest value of electron gain enthalpies compared to what it is here fluorine why because you know that compare the electron values here fluorine electron gain enthalpy is clear ma electron gain enthalpy order here fluorine to chlorine because actually order should what it is ma it should decreases down the group down the group means what it is fluorine should have chlorine bromine and iodine this should be the order but it is not the order what will come first here chlorine will come then fluorine and bromine and what it is my here iodine so why it is means why fluorine even though it is having very high electron negativity why it will show because you know electron gain enthalpy means what it is it has it should have the tendency to gain the electron gaining which one gain electron very fast which is having more electron negative that will gain electron very fast so that's why fluorine should have highest electron gain enthalpy values but which one is having here chlorine what is the reason means because of its small size clear ma fluorine you know being a small atom clear ma so already small atom means what it is ma orbitals 2p orbital it is 2p orbital size is very less so that's why electrons you know they occupy over the small region of space clear ma so that's why what will happen already small region so already electrons are there here in this small region electrons are there means what will happen repulsions will be there whenever they are repulsions though they will not allow the you know incoming electrons so if incoming electrons comes they experience you know more repulsion so that's why and fluorine will have what it is my here less electron gain enthalpy compared to the what it is my here chlorine clear ma so what is the reason that i have already mentioned reason what uh, that uh, oxygen and you know sulfur we compared sulfur have the you know high ionization enthalpy values so what i have given reason there and same reason you have to write so what is the electron gain enthalpy order here chlorine is greater than chlorine is greater than bromine and iodine very very important this is clear ma so this is about what it is ma electron gain enthalpy so just now we have completed electron gain enthalpy values and i already mentioned chlorine is having high electron gain enthalpy values than the fluorine why fluorine is having less electron gain enthalpy means because of its small size and so that's why enter electronic repulsions are more so incoming electron experience the more repulsions that is the reason why chlorine is having means fluorine is having lower values of electron gain enthalpy is clear next one is electronegativity electronegativity means what it ma the capacity to accept the electrons from other elements that we will call as a electronegativity clear ma so that's why you know that and because due to its small size and high nuclear charge clear ma and halogens have you know high electronegativity values clear ma that is you right here due to due to small size compared to remaining elements compared to the 15th group elements up to the 16th group and these elements will have the small size and also high nuclear charge high <coughs> nuclear charge nuclear charge and halogens have halogens have you know halogen shows halogens show 
high electronegativity values high electro what it is my here negativity values negativity values clear ma? and also you know that fluorine <coughs> fluorine is the you know most electronegative element in the periodic table clear ma? so this is fluorine will have the highest electronegative values com clear compared to the other elements so that's why and here fluorine fluorine is fluorine is most electronegative element in periodic table in periodic table clear ma? so this is you know that down the group automatically what will happen my electronegativity values decreases because size increases so that's why what is the order here fluorine chlorine bromine and what it is ma? iodine so this is the electronegativity order clear ma? so next one next one is fifth property clear ma? so next one physical state this is important next one what it is my here physical state next one is physical state clear so here you know that fluorine and chlorine both are which one my gases fluorine and chlorine both are which one my here gases and the next one is bromine bromine is a liquid bromine is a what it is my fuming liquid you can say fuming liquid or simply liquid and iodine iodine is a solid volatile solid volatile solid if you keep iodine here iodine beads and automatically and you will see the brown colored or violet colored vapors clear ma? so this is about what it is ma here physical state and next one is atomicity what it is ma here atomicity so these are halogens are diatomic halogens are which one here halogens are you know diatomic so that's why how they are in in the form fluorine chlorine what it is my bromine and iodine we will write like what is my molecule fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine and this is about what it is my here physical state and the next one melting and boiling points clear ma? so put the nested in here melting and boiling points so this is melting and boiling points you already know what is the melting and boiling points clear ma? so melting and boiling points mainly depend upon which one ma? size or molecular masses as the size increases you know van der Waals forces also increases so automatically what it is ma? melting and boiling points also increases clear ma? so that's why and you know if you are moving down the group from the fluorine to iodine the size increases as the size increases this is you know among the molecule only these are fluorine molecules if you compare here what it is my here compare this is iodine molecule iodine molecule means what it is this is van der Waals forces van der Waals forces exist along the you know length of this molecule means here large van der Waals forces but here what it is my small clear ma? so here when size is small and here between or among the molecules you know very uh, less length van der Waals forces are existed but here along this length van der Waals forces are existed so that's why automatically what will happen ma? automatically you know uh, van der Waals forces increases to break those extra bonds you have to supply lot of energy so that's why automatically what will happen here melting and boiling points increases so here we can simply write melting and boiling points order melting and boiling point order here so what it is ma? fluorine is less than chlorine is less than bromine is less than iodine so that's why you can clearly see here in this case clear ma? so you know iodine iodine being a, a large atom so van der Waals forces are here large so that's why and iodine you know iodine molecules are uh, held together by a more number of van der Waals forces so that's why it is existed as a which one solid but you know fluorine and chlorine being a small size you know van der Waals forces means these atoms among these atoms van der Waals forces are very very less so that's why they are in form of which one gases and this can be supported by and here physical state also this is about melting and boiling points clear ma? and the next one is here color 
next one what it is my here color color also very important clear so here fluorine if i take fluorine what is the color of fluorine is pale yellow what is the color of chlorine my here pale yellow so next one and fluorine here next one is uh, chlorine clear ma chlorine color is here greenish yellow greenish yellow so colors important ma sometimes in the questions they may ask here colors and the next one is bromine reddish brown what it is my here reddish brown and the next one is iodine iodine is you know deep violet deep what it is my here violet clear so what is the why they show the colors means because they absorb the light in the visible radiation they absorb the light in the visible radiation then they will go to the excited state clear ma so that's a different atoms absorb the different quanta of radiation so that's why they show the different colors clear ma so next one is here next concept is clear ma so color is our next one is bond dissociation enthalpy or enthalpy of bond dissociation clear ma or enthalpy of dissociation you can write here enthalpy of enthalpy of what it is my here dissociation enthalpy of dissociation clear ma so enthalpy of dissociation means what is this enthalpy of dissociation clear ma so here you have to break the bond dissociation means what you flow this you know i already mentioned 18th group elements are not sorry, sorry 17th group elements they are diatomic diatomic means what it is my fluorine fluorine and here chlorine chlorine bromine and bromine iodide iodine they are connected by the single bonds clear ma so means to break the bond how much energy is required that we will called as a enthalpy of dissociation clear ma is now if i take here fluorine and which bond is strong you, you have to mention that one you know that fluorine is being a very small atoms and overlapping will be orbital overlapping 2p 2p orbital overlapping will be very strong so that's why you know the bond length will be very short but here which orbital will come here 6p orbitals will come clear ma so that's why bond length will be you know here long so bond length is long then automatically bond strength will be small bond strength will be very very less clear ma so we can easily break this bond clear ma compared to what it is ma fluorine and fluorine so that's why actually what to happen here electron means enthalpy of dissociation should be this is the order but this is not the order this is important clear ma actually order should be here because overlapping orbital in the small 2p orbital 2p orbital being a small in size and they overlap will be very 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 strong so that's why and bond length bond will be very strong bond and here bond will be very very weak but here small change is there what is the small change here is you know that fluorine and chlorine and chlorine you know these are very close to each other because the bond length is very small and you know this is one fluorine atom and this is one fluorine atom and here fluorine is there you know it is having the three lone pair of electrons so that's why what will happen ma and they are very close and electrons also will come close to each other then there will be a so much a repulsion when there is so much repulsion means what it is inter electronic repulsions are greater in case of fluorine so that's why when it is repulsions are more to avoid that repulsions these two fluorine atoms move away from each other when they are moving away from each other bond length increases automatically bond strength decreases clear ma so that's why here what is the order actually is this is chlorine what it will ma chlorine and after then bromine then you will get fluorine and the last is what it is ma iodine this is the actual order for which one ma here enthalpy of dissociation what is the reason fluorine is having fluorine has fluorine has low bond dissociation or enthalpy of dis bond dissociation you can write enthalpy of bond dissociation fluorine is fluorine has low enthalpy of bond dissociation 
low enthalpy of what it is my here bond dissociation what is the reason here because because clear ma because and here inter electronic inter electronic repulsions inter electronic repulsions among the inter inter electronic repulsions are you know stronger or you can say more inter electronic repulsions you can say here because more inter electronic repulsions among repulsions among clear ma fluorine atoms fluorine atoms this is the reason so this is about what it is ma here enthalpy of dissociation actually what it should fluorine should come first but it is having low enthalpy because because of more inter electronic repulsion more inter electronic repulsion or you can say more uh, inter uh, lone pair electronic repulsions you can also say this is about what it is my here enthalpy of dissociation so next one is here solubility clear ma and fluorine fluorine and chlorine you know vigorously react with water means they are soluble easily in water clear ma but uh, bromine and iodine are sprangly soluble in water clear ma less soluble in water so that is fluorine and chlorine reacts readily reacts with or reacts with reacts with water reacts with what it is my here water means they are easily soluble means highly soluble in what it is my here water and if i take here bromine and iodine you can write here bromine and iodine bromine and iodine are less soluble less soluble in water but they are soluble in organic solvents they are they are soluble in organic solvents they are soluble in organic solvents readily soluble clear ma so they are soluble in organic solvents organic solvents like what it is ma here like organic solvents you already know chloroform and ccl4 and benzene cs2 all these are etc so this is about what it is ma here solubility clear ma and the next one is last here nature of bonding what it is ma here nature of bonding which type of bonds they will form mainly clear ma so that is about we we have to discuss clear you know that they are one electron less to get the noble electronic configuration clear ma so that's why they can accept the electron they accept the electrons mainly in two ways one is they can accept the electrons from the highly electropositive elements they can accept the electrons from what it is ma highly electropositive highly electropositive means what ma Ele means like metals metals what they will do they donate electrons very easily so that's why it accept the electrons readily that is one way or otherwise sharing the electrons it will share the its one electron you know unpaired halogen atoms will have one unpaired electron it will share that one unpaired electrons to other atoms sharing of electrons you know sharing of electrons means which bond will form a covalent bond clear ma so that's why previous what it is it can accept the electron from highly electropositive elements then which bond will form ionic so that's why halogens can form both the covalent and ionic clear ma so what it is here and halogens halogens can form can form both covalent and ionic covalent and ionic bonds covalent and ionic bonds clear ma so whenever with highly electronegative highly electropositive elements it will form ionic bond clear ma so with with highly electropositive highly 
electro positive electro positive with highly electro positive elements elements form which bond ma ionic bond because here what it is ma they accept the electrons like what it is the example here nacl in the nacl na gives one electron chlorine will accept one electron that due to that which bond you will get ma here ionic bond and another one with with you know low less electro positive less electro positive electro positive elements with less electro positive elements and here halogens form halogens form which bond ma covalent bond which one ma here covalent bond clear ma so this is about the what it is ma here and physical properties of what it is ma here 15th 17th group elements what is the first one we have discussed here first one is atomic and ionic radii ionization enthalpies and electron gain enthalpies electronegativity physical state atomicity clear ma melting and boiling points next one is color and you know solubility clear ma and this is and next one is nature of bonding and put the next one is chemical properties next what it is ma here chemical properties clear ma so in the chemical properties you know we have reactivity towards uh, hydrogen and reactivity towards chlorine uh, sorry reactivity towards halogens and reactivity towards oxide before that and chemical reactivity you have to put here chemical reactivity chemical reactivity clear ma so chemical reactivity means hal all halogens are highly reactive clear ma why highly reactive means because of two reasons one is because of their low bond dissociation enthalpies compared to the other atoms like hydrogen chlorine if you uh, hydrogen oxygen nitrogen if you take and those uh, compared to those Bo uh, enthalpy of bond dissociation and halogens will have very less clear ma? so that's why and you know put the heading here right here points all halogens are all halogens are highly electronegative means all halogens are highly reactive highly what it is ma? reactive what is the reason first one is because of <laughs> low bond enthalpy of bond dissociation clear ma low enthalpy of enthalpy of enthalpy low enthalpy of low bond enthalpy of bond dissociation enthalpy of bond dissociation clear ma? so compare here suppose hydrogen is there and oxygen and nitrogen they have very high bond dissociation energies clear ma? but here chlorine and fluorine if you take these are fluorine bromine and iodine they will have very less bond dissociation enthalpies compared to the what it is ma hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen so that's why and bond easily breaks and converted into the atoms and they react very readily with the other elements so that's why they are very 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 reactive clear ma another reason what it is means you know electron gain enthalpy values they have high high electron electron gain enthalpies enthalpy values clear ma? means what it is you know they, they, they have the very high tendency to accept the electron whenever anyone is giving electron it easily accept those electrons so that it indicates the reactivity clear ma? so that's why you know and chemical reactivity all halogens are very highly reactive and because of two reasons one is low enthalpy of bond dissociation or enthalpy of bond dissociation and high electro electron gain enthalpy values and the second one here means if you are moving down the group 
automatically you know yeah you know automatically reactivity decreases once here if you write reactivity order what is the reactivity order fluorine is highly reactive compared to the chlorine bromine and what it is ma iodine clear next one next property here second property is oxidizing power oxidizing power what it is ma here oxidizing power clear ma so oxidizing power means you know oxidizing power means what ma act as a oxidizing agent oxidizing agent means what it will do it oxidizes other substance and itself it get reduced means it should undergo what it is ma reduction which undergo reduction very fast that act as a powerful oxidizing agent reduction means in terms of electrons if you see electron donor uh, means you have to say you are here uh, uh, according to the which one is oxidation and which one is the reduction losing of electron is a oxidation and the gaining of electron is a reduction clear ma? so which one among the floor uh, halogen atoms which can gain the electrons very fast fluorine because fluorine is having high electronegativity it gain the electrons very fast so that's why and fluorine can undergo reduction very fast so that's why it can act as a powerful oxidizing agent clear ma? so that's why what will happen here oxidizing uh, react uh, here oxidizing power fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine and this can be also supported by the uh, you know standard reduction potential if you studied here standard uh, means you know uh, reduction potentials in that case fluorine will have the highest standard reduction potential compared to the chlorine bromine and iodine suppose sometimes they will ask fluorine is fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine clear ma? so arrange the a pro reduction potential they will give a and b c and d so arrange the reduction potential standard reduction potential for halogen atoms means you know reduction potential for the fluorine will be the highest because you that due to that reduction potential highest reduction potential it undergo reduction very fast when it undergo reduction very fast it act as a powerful oxidizing agent so that's why the reactivity order and oxidizing power both are similar only so this is about the what it is ma chemical reactivity and then the next class we will discuss about chemical reactivity towards the you know halogens hydrogen and oxides